someone has made a statement which comes like a question how do I share means so many posts so many messages via different methods how do I share the person had made a pertinent statement but it lacks understanding awakening means you are not the doer you are simply a witness to all that is happening you are connected to every part and particle of the cosmos sentient and insentient the flying bird gives a message the words on the wing high in the sky gives a message a child's cry the smile of a child the quietness of a bride all that gives a message is a witness to all that and then sharing happens at different levels sharing happens at different levels one level is physical level i am sitting in front of you you are sitting a communication is happening via message the words this is the grossest form of communication the other is such others are subtle communication subtle communication means you have established a channel where you have not said anything you have not asked anything the master has not spoken and an entire message is revealed to you this is a sharing also at the deepest core this becomes the part of the sharing and this is what upanishad is the disciple does not ask anything the master does not speak what happened between buddha and subhati buddha did not speak anything subhati did not ask anything yet still the whole diamond sutra prajna paramit vajra chedika prajna paramit sutra came into existence anand reports it anand is and is the instrument to see what is happening as a silent communion between buddha and subhati you would recall there are certain mudras gestures in dance and these mudras are part of yoga and part of dance and very important through these hand gesture the movement of the eyes a message is communed the dancers become great exponent of using these hand gesture and eyes movement as gestures a bride sits is sitting quietly with her face covered by her drape she wants to look at her bridegroom but being amidst the crowd she cannot do it pertinently she has to do in such a way that she get the glimpse of the bridegroom and at the same time nobody notices it she makes 
uses the two fingers the index finger and the middle finger using it as a clipper she holds on to the end of the tree and with a flick of a second she raises the drape get the glimpse of it glimpse of the bridegroom and nobody notices it this is a gesture you would have seen and probably that would have been the experience of you you are you and your girlfriend is amidst the crowd there is a crowd going on suddenly the girlfriend or the boyfriend communicate communes through the movement of the head and eyes a silent communion silent communion is meet me behind nobody knows it no word is spoken and the entire message is heard because the two hearts are in tune with one another when the master and disciple are walking on the same wavelength it's two bodies and one soul two hearts are operating at the same wavelength such communication sharing becomes possible i recall when i was going my the humble prayer was that i do not have to ask you anything and you do not have to tell me anything but everything should be communed and it happened and sometimes in certain moments it happens you do not ask a question but the response comes deep within you as if it is your own this is the way of sharing so what happens after enlightenment you are part of the cosmos and the cosmos is part of you you are not an individual drop the entire ocean belongs to you if you can divide the ocean into different drops how many drops will there be each drop is connected to you and communes you in your in uh, its own mystical way then it becomes very easy you are seeing things happen you do not have to make any effort but everything begins to happen around to you it is said hazrat shah bahauddin naqshband razi allah taala uno he was discovered as a boy in the madrasa of hazrat amir kalal razi allah taala uno he picked up that boy brought him up and when his daughter was of a marriageable age he asked his hand in marriage to his daughter at this shah bahauddin said if he is the right person and he got married to him after initiation or enlightenment the two bahauddin and his wife the daughter of amir kalal lived like brothers and sisters and at the time when hazrat amir kalal razi allah taala uno was entering into the life beyond into the formless both 
Bahauddin and his wife witnessed that all around there were angels and they were chanting in loud voice Durud Sharif. A beautiful chant of Durud Sharif was going on. They heard it through their inner ears. We know only the physical ears. When the physical ears become so sensitive that you can hear the unheard, you can see the unseen. And this is one of the most important prayer in the beginning of the Upanishads. May I hear with my ears that which is auspicious, that which is beyond the know. May I see through my eyes that which is auspicious and beyond, cannot be seen by the ordinary vision. And this is a beautiful long prayer. So the communication between you and the Master or the Master and the existence becomes like that. It is, it can be understood, the broadcast is being done live from the studios. It is open to all those people who wants to get connected, but only a certain amount are connected. There is a channel that communicates the message that has nothing to do with me. I have no effort to make in that matter. There is an internet connection. As long as you are tuned in, the message is being relayed to you. Also, there are certain messages which are for you and others are not for you. That which is for you, immediately you decipher and that which is not for you at that moment or you cannot understand at that moment will be kept in escrow for you to be, you to receive it at a later date. When you are visiting the shrines of the masters, the sheikhs, there is a vast difference between your consciousness and that of the shape. It becomes very difficult to establish, to reach to that plane and establish a connection between the two, because two speak a different language, their understandings is different, the energy fields are different. There has to be a medium between the two. Just as internet becomes the medium, when I type something on my screen and this channel is open, immediately it is printed, available for you. But if that channel is not open in between, you will not be able to decipher the matter. So the living master becomes that channel between you and the departed shape. So when you go along with the company of the shape, you are welcomed you receive the grace more than what you would do on your own. And sometimes it happens when you visit the shrines along with your living shape, 
and whatever you your consciousness is not able to absorb at that moment it remains with the shape the living shape it is again a silent communion if you are visiting the shrine of shah bahauddin what he wants to give it to you but you are not ready he will give it to the living shape as your gift your share to be passed on to you once you have the inner capabilities to absorb that it is not easy to absorb the tawajjuh of those masters the masters of the golden chain of the nakshbandi tarikat sometimes even it it used to be difficult for me to absorb the energy field of my uncle so it has to be absorbed in small bits and pieces and when a shake is no more available physically that means all physical barriers are no more there the channel becomes a very high speed internet the download and upload becomes very quick so in that and your consciousness is not your system operating system is not ready to accept that speed at which the communication is happening so certain things overflows so the master absorbs it and keeps it in safe custody first he prepares you upgrades your system and then passes on to you so because this particular shake is no more in the physical body so whatever physical inertia is there remaining is no more although the living shake has attained awakening or enlightenment yet still he exists in the body a certain percentage of the bodily inertia can effect if there is too much pain or anything although he can separate himself from the pain but he may not be able to sit down so he may lie down or stay in a comfortable position that his body can rest and not create inertia but when the same awakened shape enters into alme ghab that physical barrier is no more the communication becomes much stronger so what the shake does when you are going with the living shape along with the company of the living shape your share whatever you cannot absorb is given to you this happens that is why there is a reason that when we are offering prayers we offer it behind a imam and we call him peshima he presents you in the company of the sheikh that is called he presents you when you go in for normal university degrees or anything there the candidates are presented to 
the selection board or what the authority is who are to confer the degrees so your master presents you leads you in the just as the imam leads you in the prayer the master says look this is so and so i bring you i bring him to your company to receive thy grace and blessings oh this is so and so well developed he has been groomed up into a nice person groomed into a nice consciousness he can be given this and that and the flow of the energy begins as a filter the living shape remains there absorbing so that there is no leakages in the flow of the energy that is flowing from the shape to you this is where the role of the living master comes in sharing so i do not have to make any effort the sharing i do not have to be there just a thought coming to my mind that alone does the rest and sometimes when there is a physical communication for instance the posts and so wherever you put your glance into it because of those filters into you you look at the you get a message from the cry of a child from a smile of the child from the coyness of the breed from the birds on the wing from the river flowing everything gives a message and your versatility of the language understanding and the expression gives that a meaning and that becomes the sharing that becomes an expression and that expression is shared that is why it becomes very easy nothing is done the only thing is when i have to i have to be worst for instance i am there is an audio there is audio visual communication is very important along with that there is a another form of communication you have an image and you have the words together the communication the message becomes stronger so you must be versatile in the art of putting the words onto the image so you have to learn that art and once you have learned that you will be able to communicate